There's Sagittarius. Welcome to December 2023. Love reading. Okay, I'm going to try to keep these short for you guys. So let's see what's going on. Let's see. What's the general energy? Dominance. Ooh. What is this all about? Hmm. Night. Okay. Release. Okay. Almost feels like someone's keeping you in the dark about something here. And they're trying, be, trying to claim their dominance and trying to keep you in the dark. So you know what? You might just be releasing them. And you're going in a whole new direction. Maybe they don't see this coming. But it looks like you're, you're heading out. You know, or this could be someone that you may have been waiting for, and they're probably trying to keep you waiting, feeling they have control that way. And you're like, toodaloo. <laughs> Later for you, buddy. <laughs> or Missy. Sure way it goes. Okay, let's see here. Let's see what we have going on. Yeah, you're not, you know, look how you you have a bunch of burdens. Look how nicely this, this crow is carrying them. There's an end to that. It's like you're taking this burden, <laughs> this dominance that someone's trying to pull over you, and you're taking it and you're going to drop it off in the ocean. Look at that. Say, yeah, okay, got you. Got your number. Bye-bye. The High Priestess, you're tapped into. It, you know, they're... I'm here and tapped in, turned on, tuned in. <laughs> you're, you're listening. You're paying attention. And that's what it feels like. You're paying attention. You're very quiet. But you're not missing a thing. You know, the ones that don't speak are the ones that <laughs> know what's going on. The ones that are always jabbering away. They're just talking nonsense. Okay, High Priestess Virgo. Cancer energy, but it definitely feels like I'm tapping into your energy there. So let's see. Yeah, there's going to be something you're going to be celebrating soon. A get-together event. Of course, it is holidays, but, you know, the card did come up. So let's see what we get here. The Hermit. Huh, but then you're, it almost feels like, yeah... Here you are quiet, keeping to yourself. You're going to go out, you're going to have a good time. And then you're going to go back into a, the hermit mode here. Virgo energy. Because there's something here, there's something brewing with you guys. I feel like this is too bright. Let me see. I want you guys to see the cards. Oh, jeez. Oh, sorry. You know, I'm going to pause this for a minute so I don't aggravate. I always seem like I like the lighting better for you guys to see with me in the dark. So it seems brighter than it is over here. <laughs> okay, so the Hermit going within. It's doing a lot of thinking, it seems like. Okay, let's see what else we have going on. We have here, ooh, the Four of Wands. Yeah. There might be some kind of commitment coming in here. Let's see what else we have. The King of Cups. Scorpio Cancer Pisces energy. Okay, there might be a King of Cups that's thinking about you here. A lot of anxiety, a lot of anxiety, a lot of stress. Okay, so I would say this is looking back on the past and feeling this anxiety, stress. There, something might be coming to end with something new to begin here too with the world card. Okay, so we only have one world card here so far. It's King of Cups. Oh, look at this. We have big heart with the scissors hanging off of it. Someone cut someone out. And they had a lot of love here. Look at this. The way this came out. This was actually hanging in here. So I'm taking that as, you know, this was hanging inside there. Like hanging off this heart. 
So I'm taking this a lot of love here. And someone took the scissors and cut them right out. And someone's hurt. Someone's stressing. They might be trying to come back in. You might not see this. This is You're going in a new direction. This could be this person here. But it also it could be someone else. It almost feels like um, someone farther in the past. And they're not sleeping at night. They're thinking a lot about you. Okay, let's see. Let's see about this Ten of Wands. The Knight of Pentacles. Look how this owl's walking. It's like marching. Almost like looks like has a mission knows where it's going so I think someone's coming towards you the Sun is really standing out there that you're their happiness and they're there look at this bird it's focused it always that turns so blue-green look at that go closer whoa <laughs> you know what it is um, the camera I have has like a greenish light around it so when I make it go up we get this green okay so enough of that um the knight of pentacles someone is coming towards you okay i think it's a different energy how many people you have oh yeah we're sagittarius this i don't know i th i keep on mixing up these charms and this one scissors maybe because it's bigger it comes out more and this is unless you know maybe you're getting flowers but this is um like the floor is shears Something to do with flowers. Maybe someone works at a florist or something to do with flowers. Or maybe someone has a flower garden. That would be something that would be standing out. Let's see about this. Um, so someone's coming towards you. Someone you probably cut out. You probably cut out all these people. We get the scissors all over the place. Or maybe someone works with scissors. Okay, let's see here at the High Priestess. Three of Wands. Yeah, this is you just um, waiting and watching. Because that's the energy I feel like. Someone's just waiting and watching. Yeah, okay. Let me see how you play this one out. <laughs> okay, now the Three of Cups. There's a celebration here. Or someone's asking you out. Let's see what we got now. Ah. Maybe you're getting an invitation and you're trying to decide if you want to take it or not. You might have two people. This does seem like two different people here. And this is a different one here, too. So, but that you close the door. It said, you know, I'm done with this. I don't, I'm not playing this game. I just feel like that's sort of like, you're not even giving it another thought. And they thought they had full control, too. <laughs> okay, now the hermit. Let's see what's going on with the hermit. Ah, the hermit is see it almost feels like that's the energy you you um you do something and then you retreat you you think about it you know you do what you, you I think contemplate on it you think about it you're you're going over something and then you rush out and do something or or something like that but with this hermit that's why I feel like okay you've been out maybe you've been out partying or doing whatever this is here going out and then you say okay now I'm gonna retreat for a little bit go within you know just just do me and then you come rushing out or this could, this could be something coming rushing towards you cancer energy with the chariot okay let's see about the four of wands okay we have the eight of pentacles first i'm getting someone doing a lot of work on their home at this time and then um, it's like rearranging, restructuring or something. I, I'm seeing someone move stuff around. And now um, I also feel like someone wants to work on something with you. They're contemplating how to make this work. Thinking about it, contemplating it. Hmm. Let's see about this King of Cups. What's the scoop on this King of Cups? Ooh, the Three of Cups. Look, this person wants to ask you out. The King of Cups. They want to ask you out. They're worried about how to do this. Let's see about this Nine of Swords. Ah, 
Ooh, they want to speak their truth. Okay. I think this person's doing some heavy thinking about what to say to you. They want, they have to, they know they have to say things just right, do things just right. They're, they're like really, probably overthinking, stressing the crap out of themselves thinking about this. Okay, so now what you don't see is the world plus. Ooh, they're planning commitment. They want to do this just so. I mean, for some of you, this could be this person here, but I feel like they're different because it almost feels like the energy I'm picking up from this King of Cups has a lot of love, but it almost feels like the Knight of Pentacles energy because it's taken, it's like very determined. I mean, I just love this bird. I just love him. Look at that determined. I don't want to put it too close so he doesn't turn so blue. Picks up on the other colors, but it's just like, I'm going to do this. <laughs> so maybe you might have two people come at you with like the same type of energy very determined Taurus energy um yeah they they feel like they have something to say and they're gonna they're trying to maybe probably they're writing it down and, and scratching it out and rewriting it um okay let's see what the word is First is Knight of Pentacles. What's the scoop on this Knight of Pentacles? A part. Gift. Committed. Yeah, since you guys been apart, this person's been doing a lot of thinking. I think a lot of um, reminiscing thinking. And they might be coming in with a gift. And they want commitment. Now, this King of Cups. Alone, the ex, drama. Hmm. I don't think this person wants to create drama for you. I don't feel that at all. I don't know why. Why is that coming up? Why are we getting drama? Oh, they want to get you alone because they don't want to have to deal with drama. Okay, I can say because that didn't feel right. Did I did not feel like this person was trying to cause you any kind of grief, any kind of drama. It might be people around you that might cause drama if they show up in front of them. So they're going to try to see if they can pull you to the side or, or wait until they see you alone, you know, because they don't want to deal with that. It's like it's not going to help the matter. It's going to make it worse. So they're trying to wait until they can see how they can get you alone, ask you out. Okay. So, let's see what signs we're dealing with now. Okay, it could be placement, your chart, placement, other people's charts, past, present, and future. We have Libra, Scorpio, Cancer, Taurus, Leo, Leo again, no, strong Leo, okay. So again, this could be placement, your chart, placement, other people's charts, past, present, and future. Libra, Scorpio, Cancer, Taurus, Leo, Leo. Okay, so now, let's see what letters we have for you. This be initial, first name, last name. If you get both someone's initial for a first and last name, and they have a male name, and you know that male name, you get that initial also, all the better. Past, present, and future, also your own initials. We have L, M, O, D, we have mod, E, oh, we have mold, L mold, La mode, <laughs> S, S, modest, N, J, Z, J. Okay, so letters we have here today are L, M, O, D, E, S, S, N, J, Z, J. Now we'll do the names. So 11 or more names. So names want to come out for you guys. Okay. So we have here Lori, spelled L-O-R-R-I. Um, Roxanne, spelled R-O-X-A-N-E. Dini, D-I-N-I, -I, T 
Tasha, T-A-S-H-A, Patrick, Ken, Phoebe, Saran, C-I-A-R-A-N, Ruby, Juji, J-O-O-G-I-E, Lunga, L-U-N-G-A, Bernadette, and Leticia, L-E-T-I-C-A. So we have three, six, nine, twelve, thirteen names. Okay, so those are names. Now remember, guys, these are general reading. They're not personal reading. Please take what resonates, leave what doesn't. Please let me know what resonates. Please leave comments. I love to read your comments. If it does not resonate, you can always check out your other placements, your sun, your moon, your rising, your Venus sign. Something might resonate with you more. Or it might give you that missing piece, that missing link. The part of the puzzle makes everything sort of click together nicely. But I want to thank you all for all your love and support. I truly do appreciate you guys. I love you so much. Thank you for your likes, your shares, your subscribes, your super thanks, your comments. I appreciate it all. I hope to see you all again real soon. Thank you.